Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to we're gonna look at how we can program the uh, autopilot of the Pipistrel virus airplane. Uh, this was based on a question I got via my uh, channel, so thanks for asking the question. Uh, always uh, brings uh, some new ideas for posting new videos. And as you can see, the uh, PP straw is already located at the runway, runway 27. Uh, we're in the southern part of uh, the Americas. Uh, so it means uh, somewhere uh, around uh, Brazil, Argentina, that region. And the aircraft is uh, ready for takeoff. Um, what you see in the PP straw is that it has uh, two displays. Uh, one shows the uh, speed, altitude, and of course a uh, picture of the runway uh, left one shows the map these buttons can be used to uh, switch from one view to the other for example we can switch to the uh, flight plan but we can also reprogram the flight planner to uh, change to the for example direct course so if you want to fly directly to something or find out the nearest location or nearest airport uh, VOR, and the B, or intersection. So let me remove that. In the center of the airplane, this is what the autopilot is, right? So you can see it's pretty limited, has only a few buttons, uh, which we're going to discuss uh, once we're airborne. Uh, below that, it's the uh, communication center, but also the buttons to uh, program the uh, flight plan. So again you can use it and on the bottom you can see the transponder and the transponder you might think hey where is all being why is all being displayed here because that's kind of confusing because it might be the altitude well you can use the alt button here to set the transponder to the altitude which you're flying so that's where it's used for uh, other than that uh, several other buttons uh, which we're not going to discuss uh, in this video so uh, let's remove the parking brakes and let's go full throttle and go airborne. Pull back the stick. And we're airborne. So let's uh, climb to a little bit higher altitude. Forgot to press the B from Bravo. And as you can see, when you're pressing it, it will reset the altimeter to the correct altimeter. And now we're gonna turn to make sure that we're going into the right direction because I pre programmed the flight. Per bit, yeah. So let's switch on the autopilot. So the autopilot can be switched on by using the AP button. And to make sure that we're following the uh, VOR uh, channels which we configured, we're going to use the nav mode. But just what you will initially see is that it won't change. Then that all has to do with the CDI source, which you can find here. Currently, it's set to VOR one. What you need to do is you need to switch it to GPS because we want to use GPS. As soon as we did that, you can see that the aircraft starts turning. So that's good. Keep an eye on the uh, RPM also. So we need to probably go a little bit, reduce throttling a bit and don't reduce it too much because we're still climbing. So let's prevent that we're climbing too fast by using the uh, flight control mode. As you can see it directly uh, goes a little bit and decreases I would say the climb rate and now it starts to increase speed. That's one of the options. The other option to set the climb rate is by using the vertical speed mode and the vertical speed mode once you enable it, if you do that you can either increase the altitude and you will see the blue marker here going up or you can of course decrease it. 
So, how can you set the altitude? Well, the altitude can be set by using this button. And as soon as you pressed it, so let me do it, it will set it to the nearest, uh, I would say, nearest altitude sign. And that's the whole number, right? It's either 3400 or 3400, 3500, etc. So the ones where you're close to, that will be your target altitude. And you can see that on top of the display, it has now been set to alt 3400 feet. So that's good. So what are the other, other options in the autopilot you can use? Well, here you've got the heading button. But the heading button, now if we would set it currently, it will go to 360 degrees. You can see that here, but you can also see it here. And you can see it here also on the top of the top of the screen although top of the screen looks like to be the GPS one yeah so how do you change this heading well you can do that by using this button uh, you first need to press it and then uh, once you pressed it you can start to um, turn it at least the last time that worked why does it work now that's probably because the heading mode is not selected. So let's do that first. So we're going to select heading. And now we can change it. So you can see, you if you want to make a change, you need to press the heading button here and then change it. So we're going to set it to uh, the course which we're flying currently. And then if we would switch to heading mode, you will see that the world makes a small adjustment, but not too big. So I'm going to switch back to nav mode again, and that's it. The same thing you can do for the altitude, because as I mentioned, hey, you can press the altitude and then it will go to the closest whole altitude. But you can also change it here by pressing the alt button and then increasing the rate. And then uh, if we're lucky, it will start climbing. If it doesn't start climbing, then use the flight control mode or the FLC. And it will start climbing now to the assigned altitude. You can see the altitude has been updated here. The altitude has been updated here. And as soon as we're pretty close to the altitude, it will start blinking. Normally. see that it decreases the climb rate already and we're climbing slowly to the uh, configured altitude so we've got two buttons left the approach mode and the vnv mode uh, vnv mode uh, we're not going to use it uh, to be honest i'm not using it uh, a lot um, where can you use it for well that's uh, that's a valid question so let, let me have, have a look because I'm also not 100% sure about it. Uh, so if you want to search on the internet and VFV mode. That's the vertical path tracking mode. And the vertical path tracking mode is used for, um, I think it's based on the, the VNAV. Because in your flight plan you can also uh, configure altitudes which you need to or which you want to reach at certain VOR points. If you're setting the VMV mode, it will try to, I would say, gain those altitudes. So for example, if I travel from VOR A to B to C, and B, I need to be at 4,000 feet, it will make sure that I'm at that altitude uh, once I arrive at that uh, specific waypoint. Approach one is used uh, during the approach. That's why it's called approach mode. And it will try to capture the glide scope um, and will guide you to the um, runway so that you can make a successful landing. Of course, it's, you can't compare it with ILS, which does uh, a lot more compared to uh, the approach mode, but you can use it uh, to make everything easier for you. So here ends this tutorial. I uh, hope you liked it. 
Um, so we discussed several buttons and how you can manage the autopilot of the uh, uh, PP Stroll virus. Uh, if you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then use the comment box below the video. And if you like to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.